Hello YouTube, it's your boy Dante with another graphics enhancement tutorial. Today, we are going to be looking at the game Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This game just got an HD update, which did a lot of improvements when it comes to graphics, like screen space reflections and better foliage. But there is still a lot of room for improvements, and that is the purpose of this video, to guide you to further improve overall graphics fidelity and clarity of this game. Before we start, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more graphic enhancement and optimization guides. Now with all that out of the way, without further ado, let's do this. The first step requires editing Unreal Engine files, which is a very easy copy-paste method, so anyone can do it. First copy this address, which I have also given in video description, and paste it into the address bar in any file explorer you normally use, and press Enter. This will take you to the exact location where all the Unreal Engine config files are present. Now open this engine.ini file with a notepad. Scroll down to the bottom. Copy-paste the system setting line from the video description and paste it as it is at the bottom here. This line is a must-have if you want any changes of your own to be made in the game. Now, the first enhancement we are going to make is about the horrible TAA or Temporal Anti-Aliasing into the game. Copy these four AA-related lines from the video description and paste it here. This is how the game's default TAA looks like at 1080p resolution. It looks so pixelated and blurry that it ruins all the experience. This is how it looks when you apply the four lines I showed you. There is no pixelation, it is not blurry anymore, and the overall image has far better clarity. Everything looks so much better as if you are playing at a higher resolution. The best part about this is that this enhancement costs the same FPS as the game's default TAA. So in short, no FPS cost at all. Next is to remove chromatic aberration from the game, as most people don't like this effect. For that, just copy-paste this scene color fringe line here. Next is to increase render distance for models, shadows, lights, and grass. For that, copy-paste these eight lines. This is how the game looks at default settings. Notice the trees getting better model when you get near them. That is because far trees are programmed by the developers to use something called billboards, which in short, is a flat image that looks like the real model of trees. Other than that, there are shadows appearing under the trees and on the leaves as well. Also, there are other several poppins issues like stones, grass, and proper lights, etc. This is how the game looks after the eight enhancement lines applied. There are no billboards and there are no pop-ins of any object making it an excellent visual experience. This setting, however, will cost you about 8% to 10% FPS, so make sure you have performance headroom before applying this. Next is to remove vignette and depth of field from the game. For that, simply copy-paste these two lines below. Just a reminder that depth of field, by default, is only applied in cutscenes. Next is to get better ambient occlusion in the game. For that, just like before, copy these 10 lines from the video description and paste them below. This setting also costs about 5% more performance. The last enhancement is better screen space reflections, even though the HD update already improved them. For that, copy-paste this line as it is. This will be a very minor improvement, as the developers set a default value of 3 for this, so 4 means just a tiny upgrade and a better reflection. When you are done copy-pasting the lines, click on File Above and save it. After that, go to the properties of the engine.ini file and set it to read only, and you are done. After that, all the changes you have done here will be reflected in the game. And this bring us to the end of the tutorial. If this video was helpful to you, kindly like and support the channel by subscribing. Good luck and happy gaming.